In this video, we'll show you how to quickly get started with the Oahu Fitness uh, Pack. This is the Run and Gym Pack, and the package contains the uh, Oahu Fitness uh, Key, which you can connect to an iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, and also contains uh, the heart rate monitor here. So, what we'll do here is uh, put on the heart rate monitor and uh, download the Oahu Fitness app and uh, get started. So we have the uh, Ant Fitness Key uh, plugged into our iPad for demonstration. We have the Wahoo Fitness app downloaded and we also have our heart rate strap uh, around our chest so we're gonna turn on the app. Now one of the things it might ask you to do is you want to connect the sensors so we'll say yes in this case here. We're at our running for preferences screen here. You can tap on add new and it will ask us what kind of sensor uh, we want to add which is a heart rate sensor so it's going to detect it. Now we can use the the supplied Wahoo sensor or if you already have a Garmin um, heart rate sensor we can also hook that up to it. So here it is we have our heart rate sensor set up. Since we're in the running preferences we can take a look at uh, the rest of the screen. If you have an iPhone you can turn on the GPS so you can log the track file. If you have the iPod touch you may, or turn it off or if you're inside you might want to turn that off. Uh, your speed you can take from the GPS or not. Cadence we have the auto pause, countdown, the display pages you can turn on and turn off, whole bunch of labels and data fields. And another one would be triggers and actions. Um, you can enable, we have different voices and for example the base one here is a trigger once we pass every mile and there's as you can see here we can add more than one trigger and there's a whole bunch of gestures that will uh, that we can choose from so we'll cover that in another video here so that's your uh, workout settings now the other thing that you might want to take a look at is the user profile from here we just enter our basic information here if you're doing heart rate training you may want to enter the maximum heart rate or the uh, resting heart rate and the resting heart rate I should say because it will auto calculate your uh, heart rate zones now you may want to you can probably adjust this based on uh, using other products for example if you're using the Garmin heart rate zones the values are a little bit different or they're labeled differently so you can override that manually. If you're doing cycling you have some power zones here. After that you get the sharing and uh, you may want to upload your workout to one of the more popular sites RunKeeper, Training Peaks, Garmin Connect and Nike Plus for example. Check marks indicate that I've already filled out my user password for each of those sites. So with that for the configuration we're pretty much done and now we can either choose our workout and we can verify our settings. Usually we do this once and we're done. Once we're ready to go, we can tap on get ready. You can see we have our first screen with our data fields. Here's our heart rate monitor there. We can flip through, have some more data there. We can flip the other way. We have our music player. So if you want to add music, we can do that. And finally, here's our GPS map. Uh, if we uh, want to do that. And once we're ready to go we can hit on start and we can start our workout. And from here we can lock our screen so that we can keep the uh, display active. So we, if we have this let's say on our treadmill and we want to keep an eye on our data or on our bike anything like that we can uh, leave the display on for that. Whenever we want to hit a lap you can hit lap, start a new lap. But other than that, that is pretty much it to get started.